How come no one has just followed Batman back to the Batcave to find out his secret identity? Because it's actually a lot harder to do that. Just simply recognizing a bat-shaped vehicle, then trailing it all the way back to its destination. You have to make sure Batman doesn't notice you trying to sneak up on you. Cass can tell you that it's harder than it seems. Add in the fact that his suit can block microwaves, and he's also a master stealth artist. Pretty much rules out tracking him back to the cave when he swings building from building, then there's all the fancy technology of the Batmobile or the Batwing you have to get past, from his fancy camouflage to being able to move faster than stealth helicopter. A ton of sensors that could detect anyone trying to get near can electrify itself, disabling any trackers that might be put on it. And Luther's tried doing tracking him with radar and acoustic triangulation. Want to know what he came up with? Nothing. That plane of his seems to be radar invisible. We always lose him in the swarm of bats, a cloud like a mile wide, clogging the ultrasonics. You get the idea. The technology you would need to trace Batman back to the Batcave is sophisticated to the point you may as well not even bother. Even assuming you manage to locate the Batcave, there's all the fancy security the cave would have you'd have to get past to get in the cave, since you mentioned finding out his secret identity. Nightwing and Amp. Batgirl demonstrate exactly why it's a lot harder to do than you think. Oh, and that's assuming you don't get locked up before you even find any evidence. Even assuming you managed all that, what then? Or rather, what are you going to do with that information? You want to blackmail Batman? You want to expose him? This can summarize why that's a bad idea. I know that's for Superman, but the point still stands. You're simply giving him a reason to be Batman 24-7. Oh, and that's assuming Ra's al Ghul doesn't kill you first. Try to kill him? I can probably come up with another answer entirely about why it's much harder than you think, but let's assume you succeed, and that he remains dead permanently. If you're lucky, you'd get beaten to a pulp and arrested by these guys, or if you're unlucky, you get brutally murdered by any of his rogues who wanted to be the one to kill him. You tell me, is it still worth knowing Batman's identity, 